back to my channel. I'm Ifya Kimwede. If this is your first time here, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so you always know every single time I upload a video. Follow me on social media as well, should be somewhere on the screen. For today's video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how I get my face to look so flawless and how I get my foundation to stay in place all day. So if you want to know how I do that, just keep watching this video. So I already went ahead and I did my brows off camera, so let's just get started. The first thing I'm going to do is take my NYX Photo Loving Primer. I'm just going to apply that all over my face. Next, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in medium deep and I'm just going to apply that all over my face. I'm going to take a little bit that much and I'm just going to press it into my skin. I just, I really like to take the powder and press it into my skin, especially where I have the most blemishes, which is around my forehead, around my mouth. I find that whenever I do this, I end up using less foundation you guys can see my face actually looks good it looks like i already have like a layer of foundation on or something next i'm going to apply my foundation smashbox studio skin foundation just going to take a few pumps and put that onto my oops foundation brush and just press that into my skin I like to really take my time when applying my foundation because I feel like the base is the most important part of your whole makeup. If your foundation doesn't look good, then everything is really not going to look good, you know. And I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to press it in, take off the excess. And this is what my face looks like after applying one layer of foundation. My face looks seamless and flawless. You can barely see any spots on my face. So I think we're good to go. Next, I'm just going to be applying some concealer. I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand. To highlight, I like to apply concealer right underneath my eyes, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, right below my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, and my brow bone. And I'm just going to take my beauty blender, the other side of my beauty blender, and I'm going to blend that out. I'm just going to dab on my face lightly till it's fully blended. The next step is to apply setting powder to everywhere you have applied concealer. I like to use my Sasha Buttercup setting powder, and I would just press it into my skin like that. I also like to put it right below my cheekbones where we highlight it as well just to give an illusion of a more contoured face while I let that set in and bake on my face I'm just going to apply some contour right into the hollows of my cheeks to contour I like to use the sleek face form contour kit take the darkest shade right there and I'll just apply it into the hollows of my cheeks just to bring some warmth back to my face you know I like to apply it right below my jawline as well just give me a more chiseled look on my face I'm just going to take a small brush and I'm going to contour my nose as well just go down the sides of my nose the next thing I'm going to do is dust off this excess powder off my face I'm just going to take a powder brush and start to dust off lightly once that is done i'm just going to apply powder all over my face just to bring everything in together the powder i like to use is the mac mineralized skin finish in dark deepest I'm going to be using my favorite highlighting palette, Leek Face Form Kit. Take my highlighting brush and just dab on these two shades right there. Just going to press it onto the highest point of my cheeks, right here. I'm going to 
broke down the bridge of my nose as well just slightly a little bit on my forehead and my cupid's bow and my brow bone the next thing i'm going to do is set my face all over i'm going to use my laura infallible pro setting spray and i'm just going to spray that all over my face I just went ahead and I just finished up my makeup but that is it guys those are all the steps you need to create a flawless base and to get your foundation looking amazing I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up if you like this video and see you guys in my next video bye